hello 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 this is lady Renee thomas james and welcome back to my channel i didn't do an official intro because your girl just forgot so we are working here with midweek here and i'm just going to show you my um midweek or sometimes every night routine so what we're doing here is we're sectioning because we're going to do huge bantu knots yes darling so that is our hair butter hair mist and hair oil i don't always use a hair mist that's just depending on how my hair feels so we want to take a little bit of hair butter yes that butter is nice and rich that is by take me away essentials the link will be in the description below go there darling and check it out yes and just a few drops of hair oil they're nourishing um scalp oil hair and scalp stimulating oil and we just want to brush that out yes and we are brushing I find that when I brush my hair, I get the soft smoothness that I'm looking for. So we just started um, two strand twist and we are going to make that into a bantu knot, a huge bantu knot. I find that with me, when I do this to my hair, I maintain moisture, I maintain slip, I maintain silkiness, all that darling. So we are on to the top section and we're just brushing and guys I just want to let you know that my hair is 100% natural I have not used a relaxer in over three years and after the first year of growing my hair I um, After the first year, yes, I also did another big cut where I went into a mohawk. I cut a mohawk So again, we have sectioned we grabbed another section where we added our hair butter and now we're adding a few drops of hair oil all of this is by take me away essentials and we want to just pay attention to our hairline girl them edges got to stay healthy and we're massaging that in massage massage to just stimulate our blood flow get our blood flowing which will promote growth health and growth so we want to brush that again this is how i maintain sleek and silk with brushing did you guys know that a black man um invented the hairbrush yes note that so we are bantu knotting so that's our two strand twist and we are going to turn that into a bantu knot focusing on our ends with hair butter Guys, I love this hair butter. I do focus on my ends a lot because that is the oldest part of your hair, making it the most susceptible to breakage. And your girl ain't having that. No, ma'am. <laughs> no. So we want to secure that with a bobby pin. And right there, you can see that, okay, you know, I was making sure that it wasn't too tight. At the same time, it wasn't too loose. And we did the same with that section where we added our hair butter and hair oil. And then we band two knot. So this is the last section for us. We are just applying hair butter to the ends and midsection as well. I focus on the ends a bit. You'll see me rubbing this in, rubbing it in the ends, and that is applying hair oil to my scalp and massaging it in as well as to the end starting from the ends and working it all the way to the root massage 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 because your girl have to maintain healthy hair massage massage to get that blood flowing <clears throat> comb that through brush that in just brush in the hair butter and we are going to bantu knot. This is a huge one. So it's two strand twist. And then you do, you basically do a roll. Two strand twist. And we're just basically going to roll that in, right? Twist it, going around, focusing on our ends with some hair butter right there. And what I like to do with my ends, I like to tuck my ends in under my knot to secure my ends, making it, you know, nice, slippery, moisture, moisturized. Like, yes. With that, we're securing that with um, bobby pins. And I use two right there because that is a huge one, right? 
yes so we are done and this is what it looks like at the end of um the well at the end of doing it for the night this is what it looks like we're done and ready to go to bed you want to secure that with a silk or a satin hair bonnet or hair tie i call it hair tie what do you call it i think hair tie yeah bonnet or head scarf yes and it's sleepy time so it's the next morning and we are ready for the takedown and we are loosing as you can see moisture darling moisture 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 yes <laughs> shine moisture um just sleek silky and absolutely beautiful and again I just want to add that my hair is 100% natural I don't have any relaxed ends on it no and I am loving the outcome as I usually do I usually really do love the outcome and again I just I usually just massage my scalp after I'm done plaguing with my hair get over yourself Renee and move forward massaging 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 we're just getting ready to comb our hair for work the next day right I like to massage my scalp because that helps my blood to flow just pro to promote um, to promote growth and the health of your hair so we're just sectioning off what we want I think I'm going to do right here a flat twist just my regular flat twist and then a bun in the back a huge sleek bun in the back again guys yes my hair is natural I get that question a lot is your hair natural is it texturized my hair is 100% natural I don't believe in texturizing because that will break your hair so we have started our two strand flat twist and we're just taking chunks two strand in chunks and doing huge flat twist we started from the midsection in the top of our head and we came all the way down I like sometimes to put it at the so close to my forehead because of the look I put it back sometimes and I put it forward sometimes so it's just over and around over and around with this strand twist and we're loving the outcome we are absolutely loving this outcome darling I want to twist it I tend to twist all the way to the ends I guess for me it helps to maintain the moisture in my ends yes so I twist all the way to the ends and we're just combing that back for our for our um, bonnet And we're brushing with a brush it just helps to get it sleek the sleek look that I'm looking for and to, to get rid of any flyaways that I may have yes and right here at the end I will use a little bit of um, edge control but you see you don't need it because of what you did the night before how you prepped your hair the night before you don't need to do anything much or anything at all to your edges that is purely your um decision or your comfort what you're comfortable with so that's just we, us making a bun and that is my bun made out of socks <laughs> i learned that as a teenager and at 38 i still use it it's a different sock bun of course but yeah still make it and we're just brushing that back a little bit just a little bit of edge control just I don't need it I just guess, want it to last for the day just a little bit using my old faithful toothbrush and brushing that in up and around and that is it darlings thank you guys for watching have a beautiful day if you haven't already please subscribe hit that bell and come back I'll talk to you later bye Bye. <laughs>